Hi, Taurus. Welcome to your love reading for February. This is for singles, couples, and undefined relationships. Undefined relationships can be um, on-again, off-again relationships. Maybe it is just undefined. It's not, you know, Facebook official yet, but you're, you think you're only dating each other. Maybe you're involved with somebody who's married to somebody else. Um, whatever. Maybe you're polyamorous. <laughs> but so for those of you who are in that undefined status, you might want to watch all sections of this video. Um, but for those of you who are like, no, I'm just single, <laughs> um, you know, singles, couples, and undefined aspects, the timestamp will be in that little description box below. So there's like a little triangle and you click it and you're like, oh, that's where my part starts. But so yeah, for undefined people, I'm going to do you last just because if you watch the whole video, there might be pieces here and there that resonate for you along the way. Okay. Single Taurus. Oof. Okay. Single Taurus, you have kind of lost your groove. You're not feeling very confident. You're not feeling very sexy. You're not really open to receiving love in the recent past year. Um, people might compliment you and you're like, whatever. <laughs> you know, like you're not even receiving compliments. So if you're not able to receive like kind words from somebody else and truly believe that, how the fuck are you going to receive love? If somebody's like, I love you, you'd be like, I don't believe you. Why? This is a jacked up scenario if you're trying to find love. And they're saying like right now you're just trying not to think about it. You don't want to go deep. You don't want to deal with it. And why would you? Because that's like shitty hard stuff to admit. And it's hard stuff to deal with. And it's hard to say, oh, just feel happy, feel confident, but without having like the tools to know how to do that. Okay. So anyway, what they're saying is that it's going to take a little bit of time longer maybe than you want to kind of get your groove back in your relation, like in, in your search for a relationship, okay? Um, and this is somewhat disappointing, right? It's kind of bumming you out. But the thing is, is like everything takes its time. And if it hasn't come yet, it just means that the right person wasn't ready for you yet or you weren't ready for them yet. And so Kind of reminding yourself that you're in this place right now for a reason is a good thing. There's things that you have to learn. Um, they're saying, though, it is time to completely end things that ended in the past. So let's say you're like, okay, well, maybe if, kind of like conniving a little bit, scheming, maybe if I hooked up with my ex and like, no, no emotional attachment and just like had sex, I'd feel better about trying to find a partner moving forward. Because like, obviously, I can't go, get, go back to that. Like, I won't get emotionally attached, but just like, you know, for the intention so that I feel better about myself. They're like, nope, that's not going to work. All it's doing is creating more resistance energy from the person that you're trying to bring in. Okay, so what they're saying is here that... If you're in that kind of a situation where you go back and you talk to people from the past that it didn't work with, it's time to cut them off. This is how you're going to lay the foundation for slowly but surely building confidence moving forward so that you end up in the right place with the right person for the end of your life, right? Okay, so, whoa, they have so much to say. They're saying that, you know, some of you are kind of just like in this funk and it's you're a little bit you're kind of throwing yourself a pity party and some of it's based on fear and some of it's just like ugh. it's just like lack of wanting to try to figure it out because it's hard. Um, so there are opportunities around for you people who want to show you love who want to uh, potentially be with you or date you and you're just not even seeing it. You're just not even seeing it because you're not in the right vibe. And so what they're saying is yeah. It's going to be challenging to kind of come into that confident energy, um, but it's imperative this month if you want to try to find a partner. And so they're saying, identify what the disappointment, the heartbreak, the pain is. If it's a lack of having somebody already, okay, then think about this rationally for a second. If I am upset and I'm sad because I don't have a partner in my life yet, um, and I decide just to stay in this like sad disappointed energy, are other people going to be attracted to that? Hell no, <laughs> right? 
Um, is the law of attraction going to work on my side and help me manifest what I want? No. So get the fuck over it. Okay? So I'm sorry for all these cuss words, but you guys kind of need to be yelled at a little bit so that you get it. You know, this isn't like a passive energy. You are, Taurus, you're so much in control so much of the time. And this is your opportunity to seize the day to take control. Okay, we can't help the thoughts that we have, but we get to choose the ones that we believe. And so you get to choose to believe, you know, oh, this is never coming for me. And then you get to con choose to continue to be sad that it doesn't show up. Because there are people who are looking at you, people who are interested in you, but you don't even see it right now because you're too busy in this energy throwing yourself a pity party. So they're saying, let's start to talk more loving to ourselves. Let's start to talk more loving about the things that we want. Let's start to be more loving like, generally in the world let's start a gratitude journal something like that just to tip the energy in the opposite direction so that we start to notice these things so that we start to come into that energy and out of this icky one that doesn't serve us they're saying a lot of you aren't even manifesting anything instead of saying like here's what i want and so i am really really excited you know to end up with my partner at the end of the day instead of doing that like you're just oh i'm really I'm really upset and I just, you know, I don't even know that anyone would be interested in me. And you're just like wallowing. So you're not manifesting anything. Basically, if you want love, then let's talk about how we can show more love, how we can be more loving, how we can express more love in the world generally so that love comes right back to us because that's a flow. Okay, let's talk about the things that we love, that we like, that we appreciate so we can be loved, liked and appreciated. Okay. Okay, and they're saying, once you can do this, once you can kind of um, just say, okay, the party is over. The party is over. This phase of my life is over. All of my disappointments, like my exes, like all this shit is out the door. That's done. It's over. Things are going to start moving in the direction that you want them to. But you can't even focus right now on what it is that you want because you're, you're like, it's like 4 a.m. and you're still at the party. Okay. So, what is your action word? What will help you uh, in doing this? And they're saying, just deciding that you're ready. Just deciding that you're ready. You just clear your mind and you say, I expect the unexpected in a really positive way. Like I said, you know, sometimes things are going to happen and be better than we even imagined. Things that... You know, we're, we're afraid of the future because we don't know how it's going to go. That's what creates anxiety is a focus on the future that is unknown. And that's why my job exists, right? <laughs> to kind of assert like, hey, here's why you don't have to worry. These are the things that are coming. But because um, we all want that certainty. We all want that guarantee. But they're saying really, um, if we don't expect that good things are going to happen to us, then we are basically creating our own reality in which we're saying bad things are happening and um, they're always going to happen and this is just where I'm going to stay. Like, why would you do that to yourself? That's silly. It doesn't even make sense. It's not even logical. If you want to be happy, let's determine first and foremost that happiness is a possibility. Okay? So there's that. So I feel like I just yelled at you for a really long time. Um, let me see what else I can tell you because <laughs> I don't want to leave it on that note. Um, they're just saying, yeah, look, other people admire you. Other people want to be with you. They want to show you love. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. It's right there. They're saying you don't have to feel confident um, immediately. You don't have to feel the top of your game immediately. But just start opening your eyes a little bit to the possibility that really wonderful, beautiful things are out there and they're for you and that good partners exist and that good people exist and that you're worthy of love. If you don't fully believe it, at least believe that it's a possibility. And they say a lot of you can at least do that. And even though you can't see what's about to come for you, you you'll start to feel that something is on its way. Okay? Um, so I, I guess I kind of just said the same message in a less shitty way. <laughs> Couple Taurus. What's up? Oh, boy. Okay. So this is not necessarily an easy energy. Um, in the recent past, you're like, okay, one little phase of our relationship has ended. I've got my feelings about that. And now things are just kind of, you know, mundane, routine, 
whatever, but I'm not going to think too hard about it. I'm not going to feel too much about it because, you know, if it's stable and consistent, like, that's good. But here's the thing. Straight the fuck out of nowhere, shit can hit the fan. So how are we going to prevent that? And they say, well, the challenge is just deciding to take the lessons that you've learned historically from other relationships as well as this relationship and applying them to life, remembering what we've learned and deciding to stay calm. So it's not saying like you're an explosive type of energy, but what they are saying is there is a need to um, open your mind and see things from a different lens that you're not fully doing that yet. And you might not be seeing things from your partner's point of view and so all of a sudden like you're like okay cool like our relationship is just like the same as it always is and then all of a sudden your partner blindsides you and they're like I'm just not happy how could you not notice and you're like um because everything's exactly the fucking same right so anyway what they're saying is you've got to be very inquisitive okay with your partner but also very assertive. You might have to, you might be dealing with somebody who um, doesn't necessarily come straight out with their emotions. Like, and this is really annoying. They might be the kind of person who like just expects that you know how they feel, like you're going to read their mind all the time. Um, you know, why are you mad? Well, if you don't know, I'm not going to tell you. I'd be like, well, so this is where this energy comes in. Well, if you don't tell me, I can't change or I can't fix it. I'd like for you to be really happy in our relationship. So tell me what's bothering you, please. It would make me feel good to know what's on your mind. It'd make me feel good to know how you're feeling kind of a thing. So you're going to have to kind of like reach out to your partner, hopefully before things just explode. Because whatever's going on with your partner, and this is going to vary based on their science, you might want to cross watch actually, see what's up. Um, because it's going to be different for a lot of Tauruses, but I guess like more precise would be a personal reading. But regardless, this is just kind of the vibe. It's like there is a need to be very assertive and direct and be like, hey, what's up with you? What's your perception of how this relationship is going? Um, how could I make you feel more loved and cherished? I'm just wondering. And it might even just be that. It might even just be saying like, hey, I care about you. I'm just checking in and I just want to make sure you know that I love you. And I'm just wondering if there's, you know, ways that I could better show you that. That might be how you don't get blindsided. It might be that, oh my gosh, I totally forgot Valentine's Day. Holy moly. This could be where that fight goes down for a lot of you, where it's um, Valentine's Day and you bring home flowers or uh, chocolates or whatever. And then your partner goes like just stomping around the house. And before you know it, you know, they're like washing dishes, but they're doing it like throwing the dishes in the sink and they're making all this ruckus and this noise. And then you're like, oh my gosh, like, why are you upset? I told or I wanted to go out on a very romantic date. You never do romantic things for me. Like you never think about what I want or what I need. I dropped a hint six months ago that I would like to eat at this restaurant. And so why don't you make reservations? You never plan ahead. You never think of me. And you're like, oh my God, where's this shit coming from? So it's important for you to very soon... Ask your partner, hey, what's going on? What do you need in this relationship? What do you really love about it? What could I do better? How could I make you happier? You know, that kind of stuff. Otherwise, it's going to be World War III. Not necessarily on Valentine's Day, but for some of you, I think that might be the day. Um, okay, so for those of you in undefined relationships, we have, um, you're standing here and you're wondering, like, is it all worth it? A lot of you are optimistic and thinking that, yeah, it could be. I feel like it. I feel like it's going to be, and um, it's like this energy of like, I feel like I'm here in this situation with this person for a certain reason, and it doesn't seem fair right now, but I feel like I'm here for a reason, and they're saying, yeah, absolutely, because slowly but surely, you're learning a lot about yourself, how to honor yourself, and how to um, like really kind of come into your own energy of confidence and radiance and knowing your own worth. And so this is interesting because um, single Tauruses have a completely different thing right now. Um, they're on the same journey, but they're not necessarily learning these lessons yet because they're choosing to wallow. So basically what it's saying here is that 
feeling your feelings are really important. For those of you in undefined relationships, you're more in tune with what's going on on a spiritual level. And a lot of you are kind of feeling like these falling in love vibes. You're feeling a lot of love around you. And so your energy is completely different. And so they're saying that things might not be completely balanced. Things are not fair. Things are not necessarily exactly how you want them. But you understand that the past isn't the present and it's not a reflection of the future. And that things will shift and change even if they do so slowly so you're optimistic and that's exactly the right opportunity to have. A lot of you just have this gut feeling of like what's about to go down. <laughs> that you know things are going to move and shift in a positive direction and that you're in the right place at the right time for exactly what it is that you want and you need. And then maybe the next day you're feeling like, oh shit, this is hopeless. But try to stay in that more optimistic energy. They're saying um, pay attention to your dreams. Your dreams are going to reveal a lot about your subconscious, but also some, for some of you, it might be premonitions. They're saying shift your perspective about, um, you know, how, what you perceive to be the reality of things and uh, maybe the other person's involvement in here, like trying to be empathetic instead of just sympathetic. Like feeling how they feel so that you have a better and deeper, more connected understanding of that side because this will help you to stay calm and to not kind of fall into like this negative um, energy. They're saying it does suck a little bit for a lot of you where, um, you know, things not being fair, things not working out exactly as you want is painful. But it's not killing you. You're learning something from it. You're becoming more personally empowered. You're learning a lot about your own strength and your own worth. And these are all really good things. And so if you can focus on the fact that those aspects are good, which is kind of the whole point of you being in the situation in the first place, um, then you might kind of come to this place where like you're not feeling 100% confident right away, but you'll realize that if you look for... Um, if you decide to open your eyes and kind of notice what's around you, um, Spirit's going to guide you to do that. And you'll pick up on signs and things like that. But you'll also notice that things are maybe not so bad as you thought they were. And that maybe sometimes things that seem bad are working out um, for your highest good. You know, maybe here's just like a stupid example, not related to love. But maybe you get a flat tire and you're like, oh, my God, this is really bad. This is going to make me late to this thing, and it's expensive, and I don't have the money to fix the tire, and it's raining at the same time, and fuck, and my phone's dead. You're like, this is really bad. I would, you know, you wish this didn't happen. But perhaps that happened, and it stopped you on the road right where you were, because had you proceeded down the road further, in the amount of time that it would have taken to for you to get where you were going, you get you know hit by a car and you die. This is far less severe and worse. So sometimes things that don't feel good or they seem bad are actually working out for our higher good, right? Um, a, a good example, let's say that you're in, in this kind of undefined relationship. Maybe you're cheating on your spouse, okay? And then shit hits the fan and your husband or wife finds out about your side piece. And you're like, ooh, this is really bad. This is really, really bad. They're about to take half of my money. They're going to take my kids. They're going to whatever, whatever. And then um, five years down the road from now, maybe you're not with either of them. Maybe you end up with your side piece. I don't know. But the point is, five years from now, you're super happy. Your shit's together. You act, you're actually happier than you've ever been. And you're like, oh, thank goodness this happened. Thank goodness that... Um, you know, Susan told my husband or wife, because I can't imagine what my life would have been like had I stayed in that stagnant situation or, um, you know, whatever. So oftentimes things don't feel amazing, but they're happening for our highest good. And a part of you kind of knows this or senses it, that you're where you're supposed to be right now, even if it's not always feeling a million percent easy or fair. There's definitely this energy of like, it's not fair. Um, they're saying though, you're going to get exactly what you want, and you will feel satisfied with the end result. You might not see the end result of that in February, but right now, you're in the perfect place. Um, the timing is right for you to be exactly where you are, because things are aligning behind the scenes, and you can't necessarily see them. Um, but you're, meanwhile, accumulating all of this strength and all of this stuff about yourself that is so important, because yourself is the only person you can't avoid. You're the only person you can't run away from, you know? 
And so they're saying, um, make sure that you're not over giving of your time, energy, and even emotions to certain people or situations, okay? Um, because you're assured that if you follow this guidance, you're going to end up exactly where you want to be. You're going to be happy. Even if it doesn't end up the way that maybe you had thought it would, you're still going to end up in this place where you end up like with your ha with whatever your version of happily ever after is. Maybe not with the same person you thought, but whatever that feeling is that you're chasing or wanting or hoping for, totally going to get there. So anyway, that is February and I'll see you in March. getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!